Let's face it, the world is a dangerous place. If you're not careful, you could find yourself getting attacked from all different directions. It's a lesson I learned the hard way, as a schoolboy, after being beaten savagely, day in and day out, before and after school, and even at lunch and recess. One day, I finally had enough, and I taught myself some self-defense moves. The Fighting Irishman. The Windmill. The Three-Pronged Jackknife. The Fetal Position. And the old Family Jewel Kick. And Flee. Sadly, none of these moves proved to be effective. In fact, they only made the beatings more severe. As a result, I've spent my entire life being weak, subservient to others, and afraid to even leave the house at night. But all of that cowardice and fear ends today. Yes, I will soon be standing over the mass grave of all my fears and inhibitions, laughing maniacally. <laughs> because I'm here with Mato Mandersloot, Hello. Hello, Matto. Uh, former Dutch national taekwondo champion and student Olympian. And Matto is going to teach me everything I need to know to defend myself from harm and maybe even go on the offensive so I can exact my revenge and uh, express my rage by attacking and humiliating other innocent and vulnerable people. Right, Matto? Yeah. Uh, I'll probably be a black belt by the end of the day. So, I'm Jim Schneider, this is Mato Amander Slut, uh, this is South Korea A to Z, and today, for the letter T, we're talking about Taekwondo. Uh, okay, Mato, thanks so much for joining us today on South Korea A to Z. And before you teach me how to become a human killing machine, mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if you could tell me how you got started learning Taekwondo, because mm -hmm. you're not from around these parts, I think, right? True, um, I'm from the Netherlands, um, and like you, I was also um, struggling with bullies uh, mm -hmm. as a child. And so when I was seven years old, my mom showed me the Karate Kid. Ironically, oh yeah, it's uh, yeah the 1984 edition, the, the older version, ah. um, where the the main character gets such a self esteem and and confidence from his uh, practice in in martial arts mm. that I thought like okay this is what I need to do this mm. is my uh, savior mm. uh, you know and so I went to the nearest uh, martial arts gym and they had karate aikido judo everything mm. um, but and I, I I tried a trial session for all of them. But the Taekwondo master looked most like Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid. He had a little, uh -huh. little beard. Uh -huh. I mean, I was seven years old. I didn't know anything. I was yeah. just like, wow, he looks cool. Yeah. Let's go with him. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. And what can you tell me about the origins or the beginnings of Taekwondo? And then maybe how it has evolved over the years to become the kind of martial art that it is today. Sure. Um, so Taekwondo has its roots in Taekyeon, which is uh, sort of indigenous um, Korean martial arts which dates back like more than 2,000 years mm. but Taekwondo as a sport only started around the 50s uh, after the Japanese occupation uh -huh. um, and that's when like various sort of martial arts schools started to pop up and they were called Kwans mm. um, and then uh, they kind of took from karate like the masters who taught there knew karate or other Korean martial arts like Hapkido or Tamsugo, yeah. mm -hmm. those ones. And then because that became more popular, there was a sort of movement to unify things. And that's when the Taekwondo Association was established in the 59, I think. And from then on, uh, it became a sort of more organized um, thing. Okay. Yeah. And how did Taekwondo begin to uh, spread sort of internationally? How did it leave? the Korean Peninsula. Well that was a really cool process because like the sort of uh, founding fathers of Taekwondo, like the, the few grandmasters who were who, who um, 
who started back then, they thought, okay, let, this, is, this is our sport now, we should export it, we should like, take it abroad. And then they literally went. Like some grandmasters just left the country and flew to Europe or South America or Africa and established Taekwondo there. Wow. So it, you can trace it back to, to those guys. Mm -hmm. And so my grandmaster in Korea, actually, Grandmaster Kang Shin Chul, was the grandmaster who established Taekwondo in Iran. Oh well, wow. and Iran is now one of the most taekwondo uh, heavy countries in the world. Mm -hmm. like, it, it, apart from football, I think it's the most popular sport there. Wow! Yeah, I it's no really, idea. really big in Iran. Wow. So uh, my grandmaster is like a living legend there. Like, oh, cool. Everybody knows him. That's awesome. Uh, so, how often do you find time to to practice? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. No. Yeah, which is a shame. Um, but I try to go to my gym, the one in, with my grandmaster, which is in Suwon, so it's quite far, uh, whenever I have a chance. But because it's a, an hour and a half back and, um, there and back, um, I, only, I can only go on the weekends. So like, oh, literally once a week or something like that. Oh, once a week? Yeah. Okay, come on. That's still pretty frequent, isn't okay, it? Yeah. Compared to in the past, would you study every day then? Like when I, when I came here to train like full time, mm -hmm. uh, we trained seven days a week, eight hours a day. Okay, so that was a full time job. Yeah. Okay, so would you mind giving us a demonstration of your skills? I'd love to show our viewers what you can do. Of course. Okay, fantastic. So Very impressive, and it looks impossible. Uh, but I do want to try. So, uh, would you be willing to teach me some moves? We can do the basics. Okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Huh? All right. Now I just need to put the belt on. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's gonna go in your face. around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see what's under <laughs> here. Trust me. Ready? Yep. Okay. okay. There he is. So, now I know Taekwondo, correct? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first step? So the pattern I just showed is a series of kind of basic techniques, blocks, punches, defense, attack series. Um, and unless you know them, we're not going to do any sparring. Oh, okay. That's, that's uh, we're definitely not sparring. Okay. Right. <laughs> I but want to leave here on two feet uh, with my head attached to my body. So right. no sparring today. Yeah, your thighs together, palms facing inward, and your feet are together. Okay. Okay. And that means like, okay, I'm listening. Your man, bow, come back up, and then go up to your solar plexus, which is always this little square in the middle. Mm -hmm. You make your fists, and then you go back down. Come in. Be. I turn my left foot out. Yeah. And both feet are facing that way. Okay. Two. Step forward. Foot. And turn. I stay low. Good. 
need one, right? Yep. You good? I'm gonna leave this a little bit loose to gain an advantage. Don't tell Mato. Get one of those boys. You wanna say goodbye to your family before you uh... <laughs> I did not know this was going to be happening. Okay, so we're gonna do one drill. Okay. Basic. So if you were to kick me from that side, yeah? Uh -huh. Go. Run and skip, throw it in. Whoa! <laughs> that, that's three points for me. Okay, so let's try that. You wanna go from here, turn, and boom. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna go slowly. Ta-da! Boom! No need to continue. We see who the, <laughs> who the champion is here. One more time. Okay. One more time. Ah. Boom. That's it. Hold on. Okay. Got it. I think we need to wrap up. Put it! Is there an ambulance waiting outside? <laughs> So thanks a lot to Mato Mandersloot for joining us today on South Korea A to Z. If you enjoyed the video, please do like the video and hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And thanks again, Mato. I had a great time. I learned a lot. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye.